So what I'm getting from you is uh, from the last segment and now is to like plan ahead to do that creation before time and that and that embodiment visualization we do want you to plan ahead but here's the distinction that you're still missing a little bit that's why we're so happy to chew with you we're not asking you to use your mind to make the plans we're asking you to accept that all of your lives and especially this one has made the plans and now you're putting yourself in the vibrational situation where the plans that have been made by the masters that we all are can then be realized by you you'll be the receiver of the plan that's already made rather than the architect of it right here and now does that make sense to you you already architected it in your step ones of life it's like picture the ingredients of a delicious cake and all the ingredients are there. It's a well-stocked kitchen. Every ingredient imaginable. And now you're getting an impulse. A little bit of that, 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 a little bit of that. All of a sudden, what is before you is the most delicious, magnificent thing that you have ever seen or tasted. And it came from the ingredients that you've been putting there. It's like that. That's a bulky analogy, but it's a good analogy. The ingredients are there and they are already tested by you through lifetimes of experience. And they are already understood by your inner being. And your inner being understands, your inner being knows where you are right now in relationship to where you want to be and is constantly sending you a steady stream of information about what the path of least resistance is to get there. So we're not saying plan ahead. We're not saying set goals. We're saying you have planned ahead for things beyond your wildest dreams. And if you'll chill in a trusting attitude that you've made good plans and you'll let those plans be realized by you. Sometimes people say, I want the plans to be revealed to me. They're being revealed constantly, just bouncing off of you because you're ornery or whatever or because you're trying too hard mostly because you want to prove worthiness that's a big thing that you've been dragging from generation to generation that you're here to prove worthiness and that means sacrifice have you ever Esther has have you ever given a nice gift to someone like a really nice gift to them but because it was really easy for you to do check they said thanks you didn't sweat and bleed enough this gift doesn't mean very much to me because you didn't give up much of your life for me Thanks though, keep them coming. But what I really appreciate is when you stay up all night with me. What I really appreciate is when you really suffer, when you don't do something you really want to do to help me. That's when I really appreciate your gift to me. We say, you guys are jacked up. Where do you get this stuff? Unless you're tuned in, you don't have anything to give anyone anyway. And when you're tuned in, you have everything to give them. And what you're giving them is self-empowerment. So they're free of any attachment to any body that they need something from. Oh, that freedom is so delicious. That realization of your personal invincibility, your ability to be or do or have anything that you choose. And so? So I got it. Yeah. <laughs> but relax and I got it. What so what's the practical application of this we believe that you got it and we also know that your tendency is going to be to revert back to those patterns that's the issue so <laughs> that's it. this is what we want you to hear it's natural that you revert back to those patterns but every time you do now you'll be more aware of it than you've ever been before what we're asking of you is to deliberately get out ahead of it more segment intending more meditating quiet your mind and more creating an atmosphere where a dream can occur to you where you can just catch a little glimpse of something just catch a little glimpse of it and then let it play out in your mind don't try to add to it don't try to guide it don't get a notebook and try to write it down just let it play out in your mind for the pleasure of the movie playing in your mind Esther's not usually very visual but she's getting some visual on this or the story in your own mind in other words just enjoy it just enjoy it let what you've created be realized by you 
And as soon as you start feeling the exhilaration of the realization, then bigger things will start dropping in that are even more noticeable and more noticeable. And the ability of the universe to converge several wonderful things all at once will begin happening. You will feel like the most blessed person ever. You'll be walking around this world realizing that you are the center of this magnificent universe and that there's a whole lot of attention that's focused on you. And now that you're letting it in, these thoughts get to flow through your mind. So here's the thing. You asked such an important question just a little bit ago. Am I the receiver of the thought or the thinker of the thought was sort of the vibrational essence of what we heard you projecting there. Do I make plans? You said, do I make plans? And we said, do you make plans or did you already make them? And now you're receiving the plans. So feel the distinction between you receiving. Am I thinking this thought or am I receiving a thought? Well, you're receiving a thought. Well, where did the thought come from? It came from all the ingredients and law of attraction made it into a much bigger thought. All the things that you want have become a bigger thought, a bigger empire, a bigger movement, a bigger relationship, a bigger understanding, a bigger life. Bigger meaning more dynamic, meaning more energy moving, meaning more exhilaration, meaning more fun, way, way, way more fun, more powerful, more influential. You think you're moving energy with Reiki? You think you're sensing energy with Reiki? You are, but once you get a hold of this and you have the energy that creates worlds flowing through you, but the difference is you're not going to gather up that energy and then look at something that needs some improvement and zap it. Can you feel the distinction? That's the opposite. That's what so many people think they're doing. What you're doing instead is you've done all the asking and source has done all the answering. And now you're just blissfully, which doesn't make sense because I'm not sacrificing. I'm not struggling. I'm not giving anything up. I'm not depriving myself. All I'm doing is trying to feel good right now. I've got my feet in the jacuzzi. My whole body's getting in now. I'm letting someone rub my back. I'm driving just for the sake of the view. It's the end of the day and I'm driving to the hilltop because I want to see the view. No practical reason for being there. Ah, oh, there it is. Do you know what the most practical thing in the whole world that you could do is? Soothe yourself, put yourself in a position. You talk about wanting to be productive. This is the struggle that Esther has had. She has been so efficient and so effective and so willing to do whatever it took her whole life. So willing to jump in. She's the one that gets half the bags out of the bins for people who can't reach them. In other words, she just can hardly stop being helpful in every moment because she feels all full of herself and all powerful you see and men are looking at her like okay lady you want to do it that's fine with me <laughs> when you let the power of the universe be at your fingertips oh oh and how do you get there not in the way you thought not through struggling not through sacrifice you get there by wanting to feel good and finding ever more reasons to feel good by identifying what love feels like and isolating it by finding something that's easy to love. Little dog Stella. <laughs> and then Esther got on the airplane to come here and her seatmate had a little dog. Daisy, get in your box, Daisy. Get in the suitcase, Daisy. Get in. Why? Why does it? I just Daisy have to be in there. I don't want Daisy to bother you. Daisy won't bother me. Let Daisy out. Here, Daisy. Daisy can have my pillow. Here, Daisy. And then the man went to the bathroom and he said, Will you keep an eye on Daisy? <laughs> yeah. He left. Daisy jumped up in his seat. Put her feet up on the armrest between them and lick this face. Yeah. This is not lost on Esther. The details of what you love the most will come to you in the details of what you love the most. You're going to start being able to make the correlations between the emotions you've discovered because of the thoughts that you've allowed and then the dreams that you've dreamed. It's going to be so obvious to you. No one else will get it. There's not time. There's not time for you to repeat the happenings of one day of alignment you could not write it down fast enough and even if you tried you would distract yourself from the allowing of it 
so what's the practical application of all of this live my life because I have to and feed my kids because they're hungry and make my bed because my mother said I should and I can't not do whatever you need to do in order to sustain the life we're not asking you to leave all your beliefs behind you couldn't even if it was a good idea you couldn't do that we're saying just lean more forward just get out ahead of it just a little more and watch the difference between a segment where you've intended Esther's daughter Tracy when she was in college in California worked at a 50s diner and she was just learning about segment intending in her 15 minute drive to work she would segment intend by thinking these thoughts oh it's gonna be really fun tonight I'm gonna to meet a whole bunch of new people I'm gonna play with the cooks and the other waiters we're gonna have a really good time tonight and the happiest people will make their way to me and when she would do that little bit of segment intending the night was so delicious and if she ever was too rushed and talked on the phone instead or did something else other than segment intent she had a different night that was obvious to her and she began to make the absolute correlation when I get out ahead of it we weren't calling it that then when I do my segment intending I get what I want ten times from the first time you do it more try it you'll like it and so we want to leave you with these universal non-physical inner being mantras this is what your inner beings want us to say to you right now and they find you for the most part in a more receptive mode than usual so this is what your inner being wants you to hear from them and maybe it will be easier for you to hear it through Esther's vocabulary than through your own mind but you'll be hearing from all of us personally if it is your desire you are in the exact place that you meant to be and nothing is off schedule nothing is remotely wrong everything is right on track and from this point forward your conscious awareness of your motion is going to be a keener experience that you will each understand there are a lot of people in this world that are here with you and not any of them came to please you but many of them will don't let them suck you in to forgetting what you heard today and remembering what you learned before that doesn't serve you don't look to other humans for your harmonic points oh you're gonna find a lot of them but look to the source within you who will lead you to the humans because if you let source lead you then when it comes the two of you together will experience the power of the co-creation you're already doing a lot of that but you've been doing it unconsciously you are on the brink of rapid unfolding the money that you've been wanting is ready for you to receive don't freak out don't panic about it don't take score about it just notice it softly notice the subtle ways that the universe begins yielding to you so many of the things that you want and nothing is off limits you get to have it all there is nothing that is off limits your lover is ready for you your money is ready for you the environment is ready for you there is nothing that has gone wrong there is nothing in the world that you need to worry about there is nothing that you need to push against there's no place that you need to maneuver yourself to be in order to be at the right place at the right time you have all of the understanding that you would ever want or need to have in order to consciously be the receiver of all of the things that you've been asking for your desires will never end you're not ever going to feel satisfied with each new thing that you allow into your experience more will unfold and people who don't understand who begin to watch you will wonder if you are not a little greedy as you begin to allow what will look to them like more than your fair share of abundance into your experience abundance of good friends and abundance of good times and abundance of the things that you've already identified that are wonderful about life you must understand that it is supposed to be that way for you you are meant to thrive you came to be the creator of your own reality and not one of you said I'm gonna create one I won't like not one of you said I'm gonna go create a reality and I'm gonna hold myself in deprivation and sacrifice not one of you said that or meant that you've just stumbled into that conclusion because you couldn't find your way out of the egotistical entanglement of the cheesecake factory menu that you think is what your life is all about are you sort of getting what we're getting at